the first category it could be called as a primitive stage of education. At this stage, people try to develop themselves and earn the literacy. So they started examining education in different places, such as small schools in the countryside of Europe, and mosques in the Middle East, and temples in Asia, even though the education methods were with primary supplies only. The second category could be described as the latter part of time where boarding schools and churches were a better way for education and supplies were provided, but it required high financial classes which make such education affordable for nobles and rich people only. Moving on to the third category, we will see that education became more available for people in the city, and the educational environment developed a lot when it came to curriculums. But we still can't say it was the best era, since the political problems and racism had a huge impact on it, to the point where classes were separated as one for each race. In the first stage, we could say that the biggest much of progress was made. The classes step by step started changing from teacher centered to student centered. Education wasn't all about teaching information anymore, and teachers started studying the students' personalities, abilities, and learned new techniques and tools that were able to make the learning process much more fruitful, such as using group work, games, and activities, which led to the huge amount of development in the education history. Also, at this era, more schools were opened, whether for students with high abilities or for students with special needs. At this era, we could also watch the birth of the distant education for people who lived in far distances, and that was the beginning of the online learning that became a lifestyle in the next category. The last category that we'll be discussing today is the one we are living right now. After the situation of coronavirus that we faced in the last two years, we were forced to learn in a new way, which is online learning. And that transformation that happened in the education process, we could say we were badly affected by it, even though it's a newly discovered way that just keeps developing day by day, using all the technical ways that could afford a simple kind of touch between the teacher and students. But we still aren't sure of where the future of online learning is going to. 